Hey guys, welcome to this reflection video. Andy Math. Reflect over the x-axis. So we're going to reflect this image over the x-axis. There's two ways to do this. One will involve just eyeballing it, and the other will involve these notes right here for reflections. So first let's do the eyeball. So the x-axis is this axis right here. So if we reflect over it, we can just count one, two, one, two. And you're always going to go perpendicular to the axis. 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then connect the dots. And now you can see that is a reflection over the x-axis. The other way we can do it is using these notes. This right here is the notes for the x-axis. So first step is identify the points you're given. So it's going to be negative 3, 2, negative 6, 2, and negative 3, 9. Then we're going to apply the mapping or the transformation for going across the x-axis. It says rewrite the x, so I'll do that first, negative 3, negative 6, negative 3. Then it says make the y the opposite of what it was, negative y. So it says y goes to negative y. That's the opposite of what it was. So the opposite of 2 is negative 2, negative 2, and negative 9. Then we're going to plot these new points that we got through the transformation. Well, negative 3, negative 2 is this point right here. Negative 6, negative 2 is this point. And negative 3, negative 9 is this point. We've now used the transformation to do what we did with our eyes at the beginning of the problem. So either way is fine. This is the answer to the question. So if this makes sense, if not, I have a link down below to more reflection of practice videos and problems on andymath.com. Feel free to check it out. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.